Structural Concepts would like to show you some important points pertaining to the receiving and setup of your new OASIS box and CO model display case. In this video, we will take a closer look at the following items. Receiving and setup, casters and levelers, end panel information, rear spacer brackets, shelving components, lights and receptacles, and our main switch and controller. Receiving and setup. Our cases are prepped and crated for a safe trip to your location. Under the wood crating and packing materials, you will find the shelves banded to the side and an information packet on the rear of the case. Metal brackets located under the rear panel secure the case to the pallet during shipment. Remove both screws and the back panel from the rear of the case. Once the back panel is off, remove the screws from the shipping bracket. Next, we'd like to show you how to remove the front panel from the case. This is done completely without tools thanks to our bracket and notched panel system shown here. Two screws have been used to secure the slide-out refrigeration package during shipment. Once the case is off the skid, these screws need to be removed in order to pull out the refrigeration system. They are only required for shipment and do not need to be kept. Now let's take a look at our casters and levelers. Our cases are designed to easily be moved into their new locations. There are four swivel casters and four levelers under each case unless you have specified levelers only on your order. The levelers have to be in the up position in order to move the case. The swivel casters glide the case as you move it around as shown here. Once the case has been moved to its permanent position, each of the levelers must be turned down to secure and level the case. End panel configurations make a difference. Shown here are CO models with cutaway ends and full end panels. Here, the case on the right has full ends next to the case on the left with cutaway ends. Notice the two cases are pushed tight together. This can create an air pocket next to the cutaway end glass, which will create condensation on the panels and potentially cause the panels to warp or delaminate. To avoid condensation buildup, leave a three to four inch space between the cases. Rear spacer brackets. CO models take air in through the lower front panel and discharge it out the rear of the case. To ensure adequate compressor ventilation, our CO models have a set of rear spacers they are designed to keep the unit four inches from the wall. Structural utilizes a simple screw and slotted hole hanging system for the spacers. This makes them easily removable and interchangeable from side to side. Four inches of ventilation are not required for the box units. They have a built-in air plenum for their air discharge. Shelving components. Upon arrival, the shelf brackets are secured to the inside of the end panels. The light shields and metal shelf decks are packaged separately to avoid shipment damage. Untape the brackets and with a pair of pliers, pull the shipping stabilizer so the shelves will be adjustable. Each shelf consists of four pieces, two adjustable brackets, a light shield that serves as a front mount for the shelf along with an electrical plug, and the metal shelf deck 
which has notches to secure the shelf in place as well as the small lip along the front which acts as a product stop. Taking a closer look, the bracket has hooks that secure it to the back wall of the case, rear notches to secure the metal deck, and front notches to secure the light shield in place. The back wall of the case has notches for the shelf brackets so the shelves can be adjusted to accommodate your products. The rear notches in the brackets adjust the angle of your shelf. The first notch keeps your shelf level. The second middle notch will adjust the shelf to a slight 10 degree angle. The third notch from the rear will display your product at an angle of 20 degrees. The front of the bracket has notches that hold the cutout tabs from each end of the light shield to secure them in place. When putting the light shield in, you place the cutout tab over the notches, push down, then pull forward to lock into position. The notches on the back of the bracket hold the metal shelf tabs and secure them in place. Once each set of brackets is secure at your desired spacing and angle, attach the front light shield to the brackets and secure them in the notches. Then carefully slide the metal shelf into the case and secure them to the bracket on each side. It's always best to step back to make sure they are level. Lights and Receptacles Once your shelves have been installed, it's time to plug in the lights. The small white clip located in the shelf bracket is for wire management. Place the cord in the clip to hide the wires from view. The receptacles are located on the back wall of the case. Each light has a five-prong plug that lines up with the receptacle to make the electrical connections. With fluorescent lights, any receptacles that are not being utilized must be capped in order to complete the electrical circuit. The light switch is located at the top front of the case. Main switch and controller. Behind the lower front panel, you will find the main power switch and a refrigeration controller. Turning on the main power switch will automatically activate the controller to the factory presets. Please do not make adjustments to the settings when starting the unit. Normal operating temps will read in the low to mid 20s. Let the unit run for a minimum of 30 minutes so it comes down to temp before loading your pre-chilled products. For more in-depth information about our box and CO cases, check out our operations video. Thank you for watching this startup video.